Hello everyone and welcome back to Bitcoin Tips. So today I'm going to be talking about how you can start mining the BitTurrent coin BTT from home today with the computer that you have. So before we get into the video today, I do want to make sure to ask you to hit that like button to help out the YouTube algorithm in recommending this video for more people so more people can learn about BTT and cryptocurrency mining overall. So let's get into the video today. So this is going to be a tutorial that shows you how to start mining the BitTurrent coin on a couple different algorithms with a couple different miners in some different situations. Um, I will be using the unminable pool here, which is the one that I am personally mining with right now. And I do recommend it. It makes it really easy. It's got a simple with everything you need to see interface, nothing extra, nothing left out, at least in my opinion. And it can just be a little bit confusing getting the miner started and everything like that. So I'll show you how to uh, set everything up both in Hive OS as well as give a brief overview of how to install a miner on Windows. So let's get into the video today. So once you come on to Unminable, which the link is in the description below if you're interested in checking this out, you can see that this is what you'll be presented with. You have these four algorithms up here and then some server addresses and how to set up your worker. So basically what you would do first is determine what algorithm you're going to mine on. They have three algorithms that allow you to mine with your GPUs and one with your CPU. So we have ETHash, which is the same as mining Ethereum, ETC hash, which is Ethereum Classic, Random X, which is if you are going to mine with your CPU, and then they do have Kapow algorithm for GPUs with less than four gigabytes of memory, or four gigabytes or less, I guess. Um, which you can mine with, uh, you know, cards that have more than that, but you might be more beneficial with ETHash. So, um, determining the algorithm is kind of going to be up to you based on your hardware. That's going to be different for everybody. I personally am mining with ETHash and will be doing the tutorial with ETHash. So, once you've determined that, you can see here that as you click around here, this section over here changes. Um, this is going to be just a brief overview, um, and then I'll do more in-depth with Hive OS, but... If you're going with ETHash, they do recommend LOL Miner. That's a good miner. I've used it on Windows. I'd recommend it. You just download it, unzip it, and then in your terminal, you can run this uh, command here. So LOL Miner.exe, uh, tack algo, ETHash, tack pool, and then you type in the pool, which again is here, ethash.unminable.com, port 3333 or 1. 3333. Three, three, three. Now again, if you do switch algorithms, that is going to be something that's different. Like for Kapow, you would put kp.unminable.com. So keep that in mind. Uh, it's a little bit different, but essentially the same thing. Now this is where you would set up your minor user. Uh, so what you, what you do to do that is type in btt colon your BTT address, so you would go to your wallet, whether you're using Atomic Wallet or a Tron wallet like MetaMask or something like that, copy your BTT address and do, so BTT colon your address dot, and then it says your worker name. This is whatever you want it to be called. If you want it to be called, you know, Miner1 or, you know, if it's a, a 580 rig, you could say RX580s or something like that. The, the name does not matter, but you just want to make sure you have a, a period in between your address and when your worker name starts. And then of course you just have that. And then you'll be able to run the .batch file and start mining this coin. Again, ETHash will use your GPU. So at that point you can do any overclocks, undervolts, stuff like that. And that, like I said, is going to be very similar for these other ones. ETC hash recommends T-Rex for NVIDIA. Random X is uh, recommending XM rig miner, and then T Rex again for an NVIDIA for Kapow. And you can see those changed a little bit, but ultimately this part is going to be the same. And then once you've started mining, what you can do is paste the same BTT address in that you put in here and into this box, and it will automatically pull up your stats on the website, what you're making what you've been paid out, and how many miners you have. So you can use the same address, and that's where you'd want to change, you know, worker one, worker two, worker three, however you decide your naming scheme. So super easy to set up like that. 
Um, and then they do have a little bit of a calculator here for the different algorithms. You can see, you can type in however many hashes or mega hashes you're getting. So if you're getting 100 mega hashes of Ethereum, you can see real quick it pulls it up, just about 965 BTT per day and 29,000 per month. So definitely really cool. And briefly before moving on, I did want to let you know that this pool does have a 1% mining fee, but they do have free manual and automatic payments as soon as you hit 400 BTT coins. They do a payment every four hours. So that's really nice. You never really have, I mean, I guess depending on how many, um, you know, coins you're mining at once, you never really have a ton of coins saved on the pool. They're always getting sent to your address which I personally like in the event that something happened to the pool, I might only, lo only lose four or 500, maybe a thousand coins. So that's a nice feature in my opinion. So moving over to HiveOS, which is a really popular um, operating system for specifically built mining rig computers. Um, you probably wouldn't run this on your gaming computer. You could dual boot it, but I think it would be a little bit of inconvenience because you would have to log out of Windows, reboot the computer into this, since it's its completely own operating system. But to set up a flight sheet, what you would do is sign into your account, click on flight sheets, and you get presented with the flight sheet builder. What you're gonna go ahead and do is type in BTT. Now the first thing you're gonna notice is nothing comes up. You just gotta select it and it just looks like this. That is correct, but you do have to you know, keep that in mind. Next, you'll want to make sure to add your wallet. And again, this is going to be the same wallet that you add on the pool here. So whatever address you is, as you can see, I named it BTT Desktop Atomic Wallet, depending on whatever you do. If you use Atomic, MetaMask, whatever, the name doesn't really matter. For the pool, all you're going to see is the option to say configure and minor. So you just got to leave it like that. And then you come over to the miner section here, and this is where you are presented with all of the different miners here. So what I recommend is if you're mining, you know, with uh, GPUs that have more than four gigabytes of RAM and they are NVIDIA or AMD, which I guess if you're, those are the two biggest GPUs, I don't, I've never heard of other ones. I would go with ETH miner. I've been mining that myself um, for ETHash. So go ahead and select that and you can name your flight sheet whatever. I'll just name it, you know, test. I do already have this exact flight sheet set up, just already done down here. So what you would see here is this setup minor config button. You have to make sure to click this and this is where you're going to enter every uh, detail for the pool. So again, you know, I would just leave this ETH hash, that's fine. The version, if you have a specific version that you've tested and works really well, you can choose that, but I leave it as the latest. This is where you would get your wallet and worker template. So that's where you would take this. So it would be BTT. I'll just type it in here, just BTT colon. I'll just type address. That's where you would paste yours. And then dot, we'll just call this worker one. So super easy. You can activate an NVIDIA, AMD, or both, depending on what you're trying to do. And then for this, you would go back to your pool, and this is the pool server. So just clicking on that, copied it, and you can paste this in. And it's important to remember that HiveOS does not want the port at the end. It wants it in this one here, 3333. And the password you can leave blank, as well as the arguments for the miner. Again, this is going to be very specific to each individual. For me, I left it blank. So at that point, you would just go apply changes and you can create your flight sheet. Obviously, I'm not gonna create it. I already have mine running here successfully for the last couple days. But that is how to start mining BTT with HiveOS specifically, and then a brief overview of mining with LOL Miner, RandomX Miner, Kapow, ETHash, stuff like that. So if you guys want a detailed version of doing this in a desktop miner, definitely let me know down below and I'd be happy to try and get that done. Uh, if you have any specific questions about this or anything else in crypto, make sure to leave a comment down below. But please like, share, and subscribe to my Bitcoin Tips YouTube channel to learn more about spending, collecting, earning, and investing different types of cryptocurrencies. I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.